That prestigious squadron in the new Norfolk home now have one month to go until they need to be frontline ready. The point of this brief is so that everyone has the same safety brief. Um, sorry, can I just catch up with your uh, backgrounds then? Liam, you've... Hawk, have Hawk, yeah. Junior pilot Liam, who has no combat experience, now needs to learn one of the trickiest and most dangerous manoeuvres any pilot has to master. Refueling in midair, also known as tanking. Are you looking forward to it? I am, yeah. It should be good. The first time you go and uh, take fuel from another aeroplane, I'm told is quite an experience, uh, even if it might be challenging. But, uh, yeah, it should be good fun. Fortunately, Liam will have an experienced set of hands instructing him. The squadron's boss, Butch. The biggest thing is about staying relaxed, is not to try and fight the jet too hard, and to make sure that you are using the right techniques to get into the basket. Flying at over 300 miles per hour, Liam will have to line up the probe on his jet with the hose and basket from the huge tanker plane. Start four, we're just going to keep the tank coming towards area five. That'll give you a long straight run. Once docked, he'll be able to take on fuel. Watching from a second jet is Butch. The mission is full of potential disasters. In 2018, five US Marines lost their lives in a mid-air crash whilst training to refuel. There are things that you do for the first time in a fast jet that uh, certainly raise the blood pressure. Being that close to another airplane definitely makes you a bit more tense. At the fighter pilot school, Liam was taught to keep a thousand foot distance from other aircraft. Today, he'll be 80 feet away. If he breaks anything and creates debris, it could be sucked into the engine, leading to a fatal crash. There's a bow wave that's just in front of the aircraft. You can't see it, but it's uh, just there pushing air out and away from the aircraft. And it does move the basket up and away. Right, so you would just... There's stories fleet wide about uh, people having trouble the first time they tank. You know, it is a unique skill. You're flying along at uh, 300 miles an hour and trying to, to make contact with the basket that's out in the open flow. So it's something that uh, you get better with experience. After seven attempts, Liam finally gets a plug. If you got it wrong and the basket smacked into the side of the aircraft, well, that could cause damage to the stealth capabilities of the aircraft, which might compromise the mission, or it could cause damage to the aircraft that force you to go home. So you, you've definitely got to be on your game. In order to pass, Liam needs five more successful plugs. The basket has hit his 100 million pound lightning jet. How did that go? Uh, not brilliant. Uh, so I found it quite tricky. Uh, the instructor has to be happy and you have to do a certain amount of competent plugs before uh, you are signed off certified, if you like, to go and do it on your own. The uh, jet's taken a bit of a whack there. Yeah, you see what I've done on the tire side as well. Scratching all the way down there. Obviously, every time you go up and do something, you try to uh, achieve the aim, so to come back and have not quite done that is, is a bit disappointing. It looks like there might be a little bit of a damage to the jet as well. I'm disappointed for Liam, uh, but I'm not disappointed in Liam. You know, this is a hard skill set to get right. I just want him to really work on the last one to two feet prior to contact, uh, just to get a little bit more consistency in, in how he gets the probe into the basket. 